everyone's having a wonderful day so far so in today's video i'm going to be doing a little bit of prop making it is comic con next weekend and although i have my outfit sorted i'm basically going to go as sakura from cardcaptor sakura i do not have the props so i need to make uh, the dream stuff and i also need to make like boot covers because i do not have any pink boots i would have loved to actually even make like my own like actual cosplay start to finish i really wanted to do the ride and shogun from genshin impact but their costumes are just so insanely detailed it just takes so freaking long and if i want to buy it it's like over 100 pounds which i fully understand why because there's so much to the cosplay but i do not have the funds nor the time to make something so complex so we're doing this instead but it's still gonna be fabulous i'm not entirely sure how to make this stuff like i've, I've i have an idea of how i'm gonna do most of it but there's this one part that I'm just figuring out and my brain is just is being iffy. I can't seem to figure it out. But hopefully I'll figure it out today because I need this done like ASA peaks. I don't want to think about it next weekend. I want to get it sorted today. So I'm going to start off with the boot covers because I still need to get a saw to chop like the broom that I have for the staff because it's currently way too long. And I don't have a saw. So I'm going to pick that up from my mom's later. But for now, we're going to do the boot covers. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it works out because... Uh, yeah it's the first time I'm doing this I know usually when people make boot covers or like when they make like shoes or whatever like they have like a base standard shoe with like a little bit of a heel and they make like this sort of sock out of like fabric which they slide the shoe into but instead of doing that I'm trying to make a cover for an entire boot that already exists it is my first time doing something like this so fingers crossed inshallah it works out because if not I mean it's not gonna be the end of the world if not I already have another plan I'm just gonna wear like some cute uh what are they called like Mary Jane style shoes with some long socks I feel like that also would suit the vibe very much but I would like to at least give the boots a go so we're gonna try that so these are the boots that I'm wearing I know it looks a little funny because I've literally just bunched up my sweatpants but these are the ones that I'll be wearing they're insanely comfortable they have like a nice little chunky sole very comfy and on top of that they're literally like the perfect length they come just above my knees which is literally perfection I'm hoping the boot covers go well I just, the, these boots don't really have much integrity and by that I mean like these if not gripping to my thigh they will completely slip, that slip down like there's no structure so I need to kind of think of a way to make sure the fabric stays on here and doesn't slide down so I'm thinking of maybe having some of the extra material and tucking it like into here and maybe just using some double sided tape so it stays in here because I don't want the extra fabric on top to slide down. I hope this is making sense if not I shall show you what I mean later. But yeah these are the booties. Okay, so I've laid the fabric out and I fold it in half because I need two pieces to make like a full boot cover. And this is a plan. I'm basically going to draw all the way around the edges of the boot and then I'm going to cut it out with like a centimeter of um, seam allowance. So I'm probably going to cut like around here. That way I can stitch it and still have space. And then when it comes to the top part, I'm going to leave like... I think I might cut it around here just so I have like some extra fabric at the top and I'm also going to put some extra fabric at the bottom because I want the fabric to come up and like meet in the middle. But yeah, this is what it looks like and also I've made sure that the stretch of the fabric is like going this way, if that makes sense, so I can pull the fabric this way and it'll stretch just like the boot. Um, there is a technical term for this, but I don't know it. <laughs> but yeah, that is basically the plan. I did think about making like a hole for the zipper, but because this fabric is so thin, I think I'll be okay to actually use the zipper from this itself. Like I don't need to insert a separate one, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. I'm only gonna do one boot at a time because I really don't wanna make mistakes, even though I have a shit ton of fabric. I mean, not a shit ton of fabric. I have like two meters of fabric because a guy was selling it 50p a meter and he was like, you must buy two meters. So I did. And plus this fabric is like insanely wide as well. So I think we're good for fabric, but still I don't wanna be wasting stuff. I just wanna make sure it goes right the first time round. But yeah. Let's do this. Okay, now that we have cut these lovely boots out, we are now gonna stitch basically where I did, like I can barely see it, but basically where I did the line. I'm just gonna stitch all the way around the entire boot. But first I'm gonna pin these together and then I'm gonna stitch all the way around the boot because only one side has actual like lines. But yeah, I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna be back. I'm gonna stitch literally every single part of it except the top part because obviously I need to get my foot inside. But besides that, I'll stitch in the whole damn boot. So this is where we're at so far. It's looking good, but obviously it needs to be tweaked. I basically left the bottom part open so I could easily slide it on for adjustments. But as you can see, it is 
quite loose so I'm gonna take this off put it back on the shoe inside out and then basically just pin all of like the excess so it's nice and tight because right now it's it's pretty loose it's pretty loose and then I'm also gonna pin the bottom so I can cover the bottom part of the shoe so I've done the boot and I'm really really happy with how it came out like it's literally perfect wow look at that literally amazing the only thing i need to do now is stick on underneath here some like shoe grips because although there is a grip inside here it needs a little something more but yeah that is one boot done for now i'm actually going to take this off and i'm going to make another one based off this one because i feel like drawing around the shoe was just a bit more difficult because i kept having to like alter it and change it again and again so i'm just going to take this off and then use it as a guide to make the other one so now that the boot covers are done i'm just going to grab some shoe grips i ordered from amazon and i'm just going to stick them on. So it's been a day and now it's time to finally move on to the last bit of the boot which is putting on the white trim along the bottom. I would have actually done this the other day but turns out I didn't have enough ribbon. I thought I had two ribbons that were the perfect length but unfortunately I couldn't find one of them so I ended up ordering a bunch from Amazon and it arrived. I think this is supposed to be like 10 meters. Does it look like 10 meters? I don't know. Either way, it is a perfect kind and I'm gonna place you down so I can show you exactly what I'm gonna do. So basically, this is the plan. I've got the boot, I'm just gonna put it here so you can see. And I'm literally just gonna glue this all along the bottom as like neatly as I can. Kind of like that. I did think about using, like, I have like a Gorilla Glue, but the only problem is because this fabric is so thin, I feel like it will seep through and literally just stick to my shoe, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to use a hot glue gun. I feel like it might possibly stick a little bit to the fabric underneath, but I know with um, hot glue you can also peel it off, so I'm just going to go for that method. I just need to be careful and make sure I don't bare my fingers, because I will be pressing down with my little fingers. Uh, but yeah... This is like the bottom part of the shoe. I'm sure I showed you guys this like the other day, but it's looking good. I'm really excited. I really hope the fabric doesn't rip when I'm walking around. So I will try and be careful like where I walk. But yeah, mm, excited, excited. Now time to cut this and also heat up my glue gun. So little problem not really a problem but I'm extra so I'm making it a problem um I originally like did some squiggly glue because I thought oh, it would be the best coverage I could stick it on nicely but when you look at the back oh god you guys not, cannot see let me turn it can you see now? Oh, oh yeah you can see you can literally see the glue through it so I tried putting just two strips at the top and the bottom and you can still see it on camera it doesn't look that bad but in person I notice it and I know no one else will notice this besides from me because my shoes are going to literally be on the ground on the floor no one will look that far and look at the details on my shoe but I know it's there and it's bothering me so I am debating whether I should just hand stitch it on because I feel like that would be fine it would take me some time but like I could hand stitch it and with some white string I could do it on top and that's fine because you know you wouldn't really see it. I shouldn't do it. I know I shouldn't but I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't care. I'm gonna do it. It took me forever. I'm by the boots are done. I love boots are done. I really really love how they came out. <gasps> I can't wait to wear them. I'm gonna wear them and try them on for you guys because Ooh, we, we need a try on and here are the completed boots don't mind the mess don't look over there but oh i love them i think they came out literally perfection um also you know i made like a little bit of extra material at the top here because like you can't see it but like the boots here here is the extra fabric my plan was to like tuck in the extra fabric into the boot so it stays but honestly i don't need to because it's literally staying up by itself completely I think because it's like latching onto like my leggings so I might not need to actually tape it I think just like pulling it up will keep it ba -bum, ba -bum. oh wait I gotta pull this one up but yeah I think it might actually be fine on its own and now it's time to move on to the staff so today we're working on the staff I'm not gonna lie I am a little afraid I've never attempted something like this before so I'm praying it goes well if not I won't have a staff or I will have a staff that eventually breaks but hopefully I have a staff that doesn't break and lasts the entire duration that I'm there. Um, so yeah I'm gonna walk you through everything they have and my little plan for the staff. So for the base of the staff I have a broom that I got from Poundland for £2 
why Poundland doesn't sell everything for a pound is beyond me but yeah we have this I did a little bit of spray paint testing because the staff needs to be pink so here I did a white paint with a pink paint over it and it actually did really really well I don't know if you can see but there's like a few tiny little spots where the paint didn't catch and over here I did just the pink on its own and for me personally I just noticed it was very very splotchy in some areas where the paint just didn't stick it was almost like there was an oil there so I'm debating what to do I might end up spraying this entire thing white and then go over it with the pink but in case that doesn't work because there are some parts where the paint just didn't stick or it just clumped up and looks a bit gross I'm just going to peel off this plastic which you can see right here is it's not focusing but it's peelable it's peelable um I'm hoping that the inside of this actually looks nice if not I will have to go and buy another two pound broom but hopefully it's fine but yeah I have this it's like the base and then wait let me just put this and then for the top part of the stack I have this lovely little Christmas star I have this circular lid that is from like I don't know a gift box that I got and I'm going to use this to sort of do like the circle part at top and then for like the little prongs that come out on the side I'm thinking of just getting like a thick cartridge paper rolling it up gluing it and then spray painting it and praying for the best because I honestly can't think of anything else like I did look for like little polystyrene pieces but all like the cones I could find were really really massive so I can't be doing that so hopefully I'm praying that that works out if not I have a few other ideas like using wire or like paper mache but I'm hoping this one works out because I need to be I, want, cause I need to look good but I also need to be easy but I also need to be quite light as well because I don't know how much weight this broom can take because I'm just scared if it's too heavy it's just gonna go and I don't want that so I have that and then for like the little accessories on there I have bought these Christmas baubles from Poundland for a pound they look perfect so I have those and then for like the wings of the stuff I'm actually just gonna use straight up just feathers and cardboard um I feel like that'll be the best way to make it look good but then also make sure that it's like light enough to stay up there and then what else do I have? I've just got tools, so I've got spray paint, pink and white. I also have a gold one, which I don't know why I didn't bring it, it's over there, but it's by this same brand. I got this one from the markets in town, and then I bought this one from Amazon. And then, oh, I bought this little tool because I think I'm gonna need it. Um, it's like a mini, I think they called it like a mini sander but it's got little tools so you can cut through plastic and drill like plastic and stuff like that which is going to be perfect to cut these because my original plan was to cut these with a soldering iron because you know heat but apparently that's not safe um I mean it's, it doesn't sound safe so I bought that little machine so hopefully that does a trick and then oh I also have these little bottles that I'm gonna cut like probably like up to about here to make like little gold ass accents on the actual broom itself and then for the bottom accent I'm just going to use like this piece that the broom came with I'm just going to spray paint it gold and then pop on like the red uh, little bauble right here so it looks like the original but yeah that is the plan I'm hoping things go well if not ah. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be okay. So, okay, so I think I'm gonna start off by making the top part of the stack, which is gonna be with this and this. So, my plan is to first of all, I need to get all the glitter and all these mirrors off here. Luckily, there's some corners up. Well, luckily, that was easy. I literally just flinged it and it came off. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get rid of all the glitter from there. Try and sand it down a bit because there's like some hot glue in there. Spray paint it white and then re-glue on these little mirrors so it just looks nice and like reflective. And then once I've done that, we're gonna move on to this. So I need to basically mark out where the star is gonna sit and then cut a circle and then just glue the star in there. I'm gonna make it like just slightly smaller so this fits and has like something to get glued to. I hope that's making sense but I will show you what I mean when I get to it. But for now let's just let's just start there. Let's start with this little this little thing my doodle. <laughs> Fucking hell. So I got the glitter off. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see? I can't, I can't bend my arm that way, but like my entire arm is just like super, super glittery. I'm sure I won't glitter on my face. Oh, I do. I should have worn a mask. Lesson for next time. I thought since I was doing glitter, it'd be fine. Um, but yeah, my little tool managed to get off most of the glitter. I'm just going to give this a dunk in water and then give it an extra wipe just to get rid of like the extra thick bits of glue right here. I don't mind little bits of glitter, but I'm glad most of it's gone. That way spray paint is going to be so much easier. But yeah, I need 
to change and get into something that uh, I don't mind getting dirty because I'm wearing my nice sweatpants. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be back. So I'm more prepared now. I got an apron, I got a mess because it is getting messy in here. I didn't bother changing my clothes because I've already got them dirty, I've already ruined them, so I might as well stay in them. But yeah, the next stage is to spray paint this, but this still feels a little damp from being soaked in the water, even though I have wiped it. So I'm gonna let this air dry for a little bit. But for now, I'm gonna work on this. So I'm gonna start off by trying to mark out exactly where the star is gonna sit. And then I'm gonna draw a ring around the edge and cut it out. I feel like when I do it, it'll make more sense. So I'm gonna just do that. Okay, so I drew my circle. The first few looked proper ugly because I do not have a protractor. And then I realized this was the perfect size. So I've drawn that and I'm gonna basically cut it out so the star can fit in there. So this is what it looks like now that it's cut. Um, once I spray paint everything, I shall glue this in here like so. Oh, I'm so happy. It looks so good. Ah! Jesus, I'm so excited. Okay, so now that that is done, this is still slightly moist, so I'm gonna still leave this. I don't know why it's still carrying so much moisture. Um, but yeah, the plan is to now try and get some thickish card and make some little cones to get glued on the sides here. I'm gonna glue everything down and then I'm gonna spray paint it. Ooh, also, I do need to make a hole at the bottom of this, so I'm thinking maybe making it now. And basically the hole is so... Hang on, let me get the stick. Oh. Basically, wait, let me get this off. Ah, ah, ah. So at the bottom of this, they've got this little plastic bit and my plan is to literally just cut this off so I can use it to screw things on here because it's got a little screw thing. So my plan is to get this, make a hole so it can slide on here. So let's say it slides in like so, and then I'm gonna get like the little piece I cut from here and screw it onto here so it just sort of locks this in place. But yeah, I need to make a little hole for this. So, um, what should I do? It's gonna be a little bit difficult. Ah, I think I'm gonna just use this. This is from the end of the pole, but obviously I need to make it smaller than this because this end is smaller. But yeah, let me pick the prettiest side and I'm just gonna make a hole or make mark out the hole first and then cut it oh that is cutting it so close like it's literally do you see like there's there's barely any wiggle room mm. oh this this is this is scary okay we're gonna figure this out we're gonna do it it's gonna be fine That took a stupid amount of time. But I finally have the perfect circle. I spent ages trying to do it with this and it was just, it wasn't happening. It was a real struggle. So in the end, I just put on this little, I, I don't know what this bit is called, but like this little, this little piece. And I just went, pew, pew, pew. Um, it wasn't that easy. I had to do it for ages, but I finally managed to get a nice circle that makes it sit, wait. Uh sits nicely without sliding all the way down. Like it'll literally sit there comfortably and not move. And in terms of cutting this, this is like hard as hell. So um, I do have a saw. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how well it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to saw it off as much as I can. If not, I think I might use this with maybe a different head. I, I don't know. Um, just to sort of make a few markings to hopefully make the sawing go easier. Cause I definitely, this is hard as hell. I cannot do it. This, this is not made for this, it's not heavy duty. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and saw this and then I will be back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film it because I've never sawed something and I kinda just wanna focus. So I'm gonna try and saw that. Ta-da, we have the ring. Man, that took some strength. Like it didn't take long, but it did take a lot of strength. Strength which I don't have. So um, it's looking pretty good. It's got like a, wait, aha. So it's got a slight little part up here that I don't know, for some reason did not get cut straight. It's just like a little extra material. So now I am going to get some sandpaper or maybe I'll use my little little machine just to sand it down. Also make it even because um, it is a little lopsided and I need that to be a straight. I mean, I don't need it to be straight, but I would like it to be straight. Let's see. Yeah, you can't see it. So I need to just sand that down and 
Yay! We're slowly getting there. We're getting there. And now we have the ring. It's pretty even. I'd say so. Lovely, lovely. Now where's my stick? So, I got this. Let's see if that holds it in place. And it does! Look at that. Literally perfect. Like from the front, you cannot see it. It's like literally the perfect height. I'm going to spray paint this gold so it's less noticeable, but... Ah! Ah! It kind of looks like... Is that like a Dyson hair dryer that looks like this? I feel like it kind of looks like that. Unless I'm imagining things, but I swear there was one that looks like that. But yeah, I'm so glad. Ah, oh, I cannot believe. I cannot believe. I mean, I can't believe I'm good. But like, ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Now the plan is to move on to the prongs. And then I'm gonna, after that, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Um, I might do some spray painting tonight. And that way things are like ready and dry for tomorrow. It's about 4.52 now and it's already pitch black outside. So I'll probably spray just a few bits, leave them outside for like an hour and then go grab them. I don't want to go out when it's super, super night time because um, I'm afraid. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> let's go get some thick card to make our little prongies. So this is kind of how I've made it. I've made this little cone and I've sort of folded in the inside so I've got somewhere to put the glue on so hopefully that gives it like a better stick. I'm not happy because the edges just aren't perfect. I don't know if it's like the card because it's too hard but then I do need to use a stiff card so it can like stand up so I don't know. I'm thinking of leaving it here for today and sleeping on it and then coming back to it tomorrow because I've got to see how this sits with the glue as well. 